shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. My dad walk on. Man, you tell me, man. It's going down, man. Mm. Another day, man. We and we ain't even been up here, man. You know, we've been chilling. I, I, I got to put in some overtime, man. Mm. I, you, you, <laughs> we gotta, You're putting in overtime and editing. Yeah, I know it. I do it. I'm doing what I got to do. Check it, man. We got a special guest in here today, man. And and he don't really need no introduction, man. He been working, man. If if you just hey, if you Google him, you know what I'm saying? Pull him up, man. <laughs> Whatever you got to do, man. My boy YSM Flippers in the building. What's going on, man? Bro, what's poppin'? What's man, poppin'? it's good to see you, man. Oh, shit. It's good, good to see good you, to man. Be here. Good to yeah, be here. Yeah, 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 man. I didn't know. I thought you was gonna counsel on me, like I said. <laughs> I, I kind of felt that way with you know with the uh, with Situation. what just yeah with just with what just happened with Wardy, man. Yeah, but yeah. But yeah. we had already scheduled this, you know. A lot yeah. of people, a lot of time, people don't realize how how this thing be going. And then not only that. We had already had one. I was supposed to pull up with Wody. Yeah, I know. And That's what I was saying. Yeah. That was the whole reason. Yeah, so, you know, we had been rescheduled this couple couple weeks ago, I think. Yeah, yeah. we did. And I ain't want to do y'all like I did last time. So. Yeah, I, I kind of <laughs> felt like, oh, that's how he rolled. The nigga rolled like that. <laughs> <laughs> but he, I, I heard you was asleep. Yeah, I was. I think I was asleep, but. Kind of tired night before or something. I don't even know. I don't even remember. That was like I don't. Even that know. was a, a, that was a month like, or so ago. It was a month ago. Yeah. yeah, man, and 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 you know, and we had talked about you that day. It was a gang up here. It was like we can't even get a hold of him because Trey Trey was linking up with you some kind of way, and they wasn't able to link up with you. Yeah, yeah. I think I was DMing him back, but uh, when I don't know, I was probably asleep too. I don't. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't even remember what I was doing. Yeah, yeah. So so man. Uh, so, so tell we, us, tell us how oh, you got I knew started. You was do that. How did Let's you get into back. the music? Like, I, or either just how did you? Well, so growing up, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? Uh, Where did you grow up? You know what I'm saying I always stayed in Dallas my whole life. Then you know what I'm saying about eighth grade, ninth grade. That's when I met uh, Wody and Mario. Mm-hmm. I wasn't rapping, but by like I probably say eleventh grade or tenth grade, it was probably tenth or eleventh grade. Mario had already been rapping. And Wadi was rapping too. So, so they motivated you to so start they, rapping. I mean, I just hung with them. And so I ain't really was, I ain't even want to rap, you know. But what did you want to do? Uh, I don't know. I wasn't really doing nothing. <laughs> nothing good. I wasn't doing <laughs> nothing good. Oh, okay. Just being a kid. I'm being worse than a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no. Nah, when you young, man, you get you experiment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you sure. try to figure out what's gonna work. I'm trying to see everything. I'm trying to trying to see what's how it's gonna work. But now nah, though, they got me to start rapping. Which one? Of, was it Wardy that got you started? It was really uh Dolo. Oh, Dolo. Oh, Dolo. Okay. Dolo. Okay. Dolo, cause he been rapping since we was in like younger than that, like middle school. You know what I'm saying? Before I even came over there. But, wow. But what did know. he say to you to get you to start rapping? I think I I used to like rap at the at lunch, like you know what I'm saying. We used to I used to freestyle at the table. I used to rap at lunch with him. It was it was easy. That shit was easy. Yeah. And we just went to a studio one time, recorded a song, then shit. How did it feel when you heard yourself for the first time? Um, I don't even remember that. I don't remember. I just know that shit. People at the school was fucking with the song, so yeah, yeah. It, I guess that motivated me to do some more stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you feel like um, when you rap, do it, do it, do it, do it? Does it feel like that's what you want to do for you know till you till you make it you know bigger than life? Mm. Or this is just something you're just doing? I don't know. I kind of, I kind of, I like doing it, but yeah. it's cool. I mean, do you get a, you get a lot of views on YouTube? You get you get a lot of impact on on Instagram. Yeah. Those are the things that that. Other, other, uh, I guess, uh, striving artists. Yeah, that's all of the artists is would trying to do. To a lot of them would right. love to do what you're doing. But, but, but I had to put in that. That wasn't just me not trying though. Like I had to really like wanted. To, I wanted to rap like, like how like, I don't know. Like every day, I just did it every day. I just wanted to perfect the craft. Like, and whose studio was you using back when you uh, first started? I know you started at the house somewhere. I think my first song was at somebody else. Yeah, but then after that, I started going to. Uh, I started going to Vaughn Forever Faded Studios. Okay. And he was where I was making like, we made like, a, probably like 100, 200 songs. 
Wow. Then we started going to uh, this one studio, the Music Box, with Beezy and Wasty. Okay. Mm-hmm. They had their own room, so they used to they used to like. I used to when I went to when I wanted to rap, I used to just stay there all night, like spend a night there. Yeah. I used to be there for days, just 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 rapping. And I learned how to record myself, so I bought all the equipment. That's what's up. That's you know more than a hobby, cause when you you seem like you making it your life. I mean, it it just it's like I don't know, it's just something to do. You find a love for it. I get I get like he said I get views and stuff and just people just views and impact. People just be DMing me all the time like drop 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 so. And now and, you got a fan and base, even, right? And even with yeah, but even with my like the trailers and the little little just the little snippets I be dropping, it just be it just be on it so. Where do you get your inspiration for your songs? Uh, I don't know. Probably, probably me, me and the people I be around. Yeah. Just you know, we be just talking about stuff like stuff we do or what we own. Or, I don't know. I don't really be listening to nobody. Don't don't listen to nobody's music, but you. But of course, the camp. Yeah. That's but, about it. I mean, I don't know. I don't really get no inspiration from nobody. Cause I I don't I don't want to rap now that I don't like nobody I don't want to sound like nobody. So, so who do you who would you say that you? I know you don't sound like nobody there, but I know that growing up you probably listened to like a bigger artist growing up and got inspired uh, by one of them. Let me see. Who was it? Probably Soldier Boy. Really? Soldier? Yeah, cause he used to like that boy on the wall up there. That he used to like I don't know he just switches flow. Like, I like that nigga hustle boy. That yeah, nigga hustle. He just switched his flow and then he just be doing his thing. So. Yeah, yeah. So is that who you would say that? Do you do that a lot? Do what? Switch, switch your switch flow. His, switch his flow up. I mean, yeah, I try to. Yeah, yeah. Well, let, let me ask you something about the music. What, what, what about and and look like you and uh, Barrio, y'all, you and you, y'all, y'all together a lot. Yeah, that's that's like my brother. All yeah. of us, all of us, we really we all be with each other a lot, but. Mario, it's just I don't know. He, I don't know. Y'all be making y'all. You seem like y'all tip for tat on the we music. Do, even even outside the music, even with even with just just life, just me and Mario be at it. We probably talk to each other every day. Okay, that's that, and that's that's building a relationship. That's mm-hmm. the, that's saying nigga, we vibing it, and we'll rock out at that studio. So if y'all talk every day, that studio it's yeah, on your studio, mind. It's, it's studio, it's like we we have our own studio. So y'all just live in that thing. We have our, nah, we don't. It's just like. <laughs> It's just like you want to pull up, pull up, and if we so happen to be there at the same time, then we'll record a song. Cause he be moving and I be moving. You know what I'm saying? We all be doing our things. But if we pop up at the studio at the same time, we'll hit each other like, "Hey, meet me up there." It ain't nothing to do a song, cause we've been doing it. Like he used to spend the night with me at the studio when I used to like. We've been doing it so bad, so much, so we know how to like feed off each other. Well, tell me a little bit about Swipe Talk. What, what, what? How did that song come about? What was you guys doing? Just kind of run me through it. Uh. I don't know. We'll probably just. I think we probably. I think we recorded it at his house. Okay. And so you know what I'm saying. He, I go first, or he'll go first. Whoever went first on that song. I think it was me. And he record me. I record him. He record me. I record him. And it's just like that. Yeah. So and, and what about Kenny B? He's he's pretty close with the camp too, or what? Yeah, Kenny B. Kenny B. That's that's he. Yeah. Uh, he, he 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 with us. Okay. He he, he gang, but. He like, you know, he from Fort Worth. Yeah, of and course. So, he is from Fort Worth. Y'all the Dale Worth, right? Like, yeah. So, well, that's where Woody from. That's where Woody so, you from. Well, you from, from. You from Dallas. Yeah. So, so Kenny, he, you know, he from Fort Worth. So, we came with him. He like, we just been in the studio one day, and he just clicked with us. And, in my city. How, that, that's, how that, that's how that happened? Nah, I mean, we been had songs before that one, but that one was just the one, like, that one was just one of the ones we liked so much, so we you know we shot the video and everything. Man, but Kenny be with us too, just like everybody else. Everybody. Like, so do you? Okay, and um, do you do what? Tell me about try. Uh, that's the last video I dropped. Yeah, I don't know. Like, the video, it's probably one of my favorites right now. Of course, it's, Mo, your Mo, it's the last one. Because because Mo, Mo be going nah. Because my favorite is really uh. What's my favorite video? I don't know. It's probably Law and Order. Law and Order? Yeah, I like that concept, but but Try That was nice too. Yeah. But I got some most hard stuff in the drop. Oh, yeah? Some videos, yeah. 
Who do you like working with for as a videographer? Uh, Mo always my go-to. Oh yeah, it's like he 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 gang he 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 be there with me too, like out of town. You know what I'm saying? He, he like working with you. Yeah, he shoot everywhere with me. You it's know good what when saying? you can find somebody who you when you explain something to, they totally get it. They understand exactly what you need and what you want. Yeah, we just be chilling. Mo, he gang. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's dope, man. So, but, go ahead. My fault. No, no, no. But go. I often say. Uh, with the other cameramen, though, I, I I like I like visuals by D. You know what I'm saying? I've been messing with all these to, since like when they first start. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How yeah. important is it to have visuals though? I don't know. To me, I really don't mean like Mo will call me and be like, nah, we gotta shoot. You gotta meet me here, here, here. Like that's how Mo be. So that's how I be so active with Mo, cause he'll tell me, yeah, get up, do this, do that, and meet me here. I'm saying. I think the visuals. He's a motivator. Are, I think he visuals are you. super important when it comes down to the music. I mean, only reason because that's what everybody can see and they gravitate to it. To me, you know, the lyrics. Okay, I don't know because when you're in the car, you just putting on some music, you're gonna bang out, right? Yeah. But I don't know. I like the visuals, man. I like that picture, man, because every time I see you, you turning up, it's like yeah. The visuals, the visuals be cool too. Because everybody always have their phones, so they're always looking at videos on YouTube. You know, checking stuff out. They want to see the person. That's it. Mm -hmm. that, that's totally it, and it's so yeah. that's it's so convenient now, right? Yeah. That's why they be on your IG and you know Facebook and whatever because they want to see you. They want to see those skits. Yeah, they want to see all of that. It's, I, I, what's going on that DM? You got a lot of people. <laughs> 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 what's the craziest thing ever come across your DM? <laughs> craziest thing? I don't know. Bro, people, people say all type of stuff. Sometimes people would be like, sometimes they'll be mad at me for something. They just make up some uh, Then they'll be like, well, can you send me some money? Nah. Like, people always ask for money. Really? That's right. People ask for money. Because they know he's getting it. They feel like he getting it. He, and then he's showing it. He, I, I don't be showing I got nothing. it, nigga. I got it. I don't be showing nothing. I see it on your IG. You be showing it. <laughs> I don't be showing nothing. So do you, what, what, what can I say, you know, uh, do you uh, have do you have a favorite rapper that that outside of Soldier Boy that really like made you feel like damn I got to come on with it? It like if you listen to a song and and be like damn man I gotta I gotta make it make mine better than that. What pushes you? I probably say people I be around push me. They push you more than anything. Yeah, cause I I I, I really don't even be trying to record. Like I pull up to the studio just to. Shoot dice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If it's always oh, a lot of people up there for the pull up, shoot dice. You know what I'm saying? But I record. They they they'll probably tell me like, yo, this beat right here hard. And if I like it, I go in there and record. Wow. That's how we be coming across some of our songs. Like, do you ever? All do of us yeah, at the school with with me, Kenny, and uh, Guardi and uh. Trill, mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? We were just all at the studio that day shooting dice. Yeah, yeah. That four one. I seen that one. And like, I was recording in the room back there. They shooting. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I tell somebody else, go hop on it. I hop in the dice game, then he'll come back and tell you, you hop on it, and then he hop back in the dice <laughs> game. It's like, we all at the studio. Hey, hey, go hop on there. Y'all just like, we ain't, fun. Like, we ain't even have to hear who, what he said. Like, nobody had to hear what I said. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just hey, in a whole really another room. Yeah. yeah, just come in there. Yeah, it's, that's how easy it'd be. Man, you know, I have to talk about the elephant in the room, man. Water, you just mentioned it, man. How, how... How do you move past when you lose somebody like that? He See, when I got the call and yesterday. To be honest, I just said his name like, and it, and it still feel unreal. Like yeah, like he's still here. It still feel unreal. So when I because last thing me, when me and him was talking, he was like, I got to get my music on my YouTube. Remember you saying that? Mm -hmm. yeah. It got to be on my he platform. Telling, yeah, he be, he be you, trying you know, to tell me that too. Yeah, that's important. That was important to him, so I think it should be important to you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. To get it to get it where it's. Whereas you pretty much are the one that, you know what I mean, uh, controlling it in, in the narrative. Because you got fans, of course, and that's what me and him was talking about. Like when you got these people following you, you putting it out on all these other people platform, they benefiting from it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But but how, I mean, uh, how are you, how does that, I mean, because the way I heard it, I know nothing about it, but they, he, the guy that was here with him last time, they evidently got into a fight or argument or something at the club. Were you there that night? Nah. You wasn't out. Nah. I don't but even be going you don't even out go like out that. like that. I don't even go out. Like yeah. And you know and and the thing that that but all of y'all, he was a part of the the whole clique too, right? 
I mean, he wasn't really, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't really like. How does he end up to, here with him? Because I, I know what it told me he, he, to he, interview he, him. He 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 was out. He I don't even know how to explain it, bro. It's just he I, just was I, with y'all. Yeah, he was. You know what I'm saying? He was cool with us. That was that was. But he funny. wasn't immediate. He was he a he, so he was know, he grew. Did he go to school with you guys? Nah, he just what well, he really knew him like so you know. Okay. I, don't, I can't really explain. It. I can't even answer your question right now because. I was just trying to understand how he ended up in the store, standing in the video like he's a part of everything. But then that happened. That blew my mind. Think I about it from I my perspective. I, you know, I don't like you don't even know how I'm thinking about. You it. trying to figure like you know what, what the hell happened? <laughs> you know, I can't comprehend. So I can't tell you. I can't tell you because you like you don't. Yeah, and I get it, man. And 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 the only reason I say that is because it just like I said when I when I talk because I talked to them yesterday. You know, the fam, the mother, the, the whatever. The godmother, per se. And, you know, my thing is, man, you know, because I just got to meet him because Blake and all us so linked in, you know. Um, my thing is, you know, first thing I tell my wife is, could I have said something else to him? Or, you know, you start trying to figure out what you could have done different with the um, time that I had with him, you know? I don't know. I talked to him that day. You know what I'm saying? We was on live. You know. I didn't even know they were going now, so. You, know. you didn't even know? No, I didn't know they were going nowhere. But, you know what I'm saying? I can't even tell you what happened because I don't know. I wasn't there. No, and no, no. I know. If I was there, it wouldn't have happened. Like, it would it would have been nothing because whatever they had going would have just been squashed. But I don't know what they had going, so I can't tell you. Yeah, yeah. It just, you know, it's sad, man, because at the end of the day, man, the guy was a good dude. He came here respectfully. Yeah, he was real. He blessed our platform when he didn't have to come over here and do that. But he already, he knew my son. And, you know, like you talking back and forth with Blake. Blake is my son's cousin. Yeah. And, um, you know, people call me after that. They're like, man, I ain't know you tapped into the streets like that. I'm like, what? My partner's not like, I'm like, tapped into the streets. Man, 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 what, hey, what it be, he be out there, you know, he, they really, they about that life. I'm like, dude, these is my people, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, I really know that they family, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I didn't look at it the same way like that. Plus, I, you know, I come from a lot, so, you know what I'm saying? But the thing is, man, I really loved uh, talking with him that day. I thank God that I got to be able to speak to him that day. Um, didn't think that would be our last time talking. But the thing I hate about situations like this and things like this happen on a regular basis, you see it on the news all the time, is the fact that it's simple things like that that ended up in something so detrimental. You know what I mean? That something that could easily be discussed and squashed and, you know, ended in a... In With the right people around. Right. Like you just said. Yeah. With the right people around, it could have been a narrative that changed. But... If the wrong people around, they don't know how to either engage or they intimidated by the situation on a whole. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I just, you know, I just know that God is real. Um, you know, we we got to make sure we protect the people that are still here in a way to where we keep them from endangering themselves or doing something bad to somebody else. Because especially people like you, you got kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When I was, when my son, and I don't even like to tell this, but when my son was young, I ended up going through some stuff and had to go away for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and my daughter was here, you know, and that's the worst thing to have to deal with something like that. You don't think about it until you're in the situation trying to deal with it. And have Because if you didn't die, you, you basically in that situation, somebody else. Somebody not, else having, raised your kids. Yeah, and you can't get to them. You know what I'm saying? So that, those are things that you have to think about before you make crazy decisions to do but stuff. But a lot that you of people do from. things in the heat of the moment, moment and not yeah. think about their children or their mom or their family, their loved ones. You know what I mean? Correct. Well, you know, I'm gonna fast forward. So um, back to the music. Um, so do you feel like what, what's the next big hit now? Are you gonna do something in dedication to Wardy? Uh, me and Wardy got we got hella songs. Y'all still got a lot of music. Yeah. We, you, you gonna put it out? Music. I don't know. I'm gonna see. I talked to Mr. Lee, man. Mr. Yeah. Lee was on. He said it's hard to do that. We had a video we that hadn't couple, came out yet. Yeah, we got a couple of videos. Just like you know, what I'm saying, I got other music still. You know, I just dropped a little tape. 
people kept asking for a lot of music, so I just gave them a lot of shit that they kept asking for. Did Water have kids? Nah. He didn't have any kids, mm -hmm. okay. So, and I, and the reason I asked that because I, I, I mean, you know, I asked that every mm -hmm. time. You I was just it. thinking the same thing yeah. before you actually asked it. Because I'd be thinking about with the music or with anything that goes out, if it accumulates money, that it would go towards the children. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, but but I, I say, man, keep pushing that music. You know already what he would want for you, right? Yeah, for sure. He'll be like, let's get it, right? And yeah, that what his sure. mindset was at? For sure. <laughs> like, let's get to it. For sure. So you got to keep that whole mindset going. Um, what's the next big song? What we what can I expect? Uh, Mm -hmm. The people want to know what's the next one you gonna let go. I don't know. I ain't. I don't know. I got hella stuff in, in my phones, but <coughs> I probably still got stuff that's on the laptop still at the uh, studio. But studio. I don't know. You don't know yet. I don't know. Are I you only know. doing singles, or are you gonna actually do a project, project where you're gonna yeah. have like an album come out? Mm, I don't know. I just dropped a little mixtape about like four or five days ago. We got like nine or ten songs, and I don't even remember. Which one you like doing the most? The projects or just dropping songs with a visual? Uh, uh, I'd say the single. It's the single fun, it's, ain't it? It's, it's less work. Yeah, no, but it's fun because you get to drop work. it and run. It's less work. Really? <laughs> it's less work. How much more work you have to do when you drop a whole album compared to a single? It's like you gotta you gotta have a lot of songs and more than one song. That's work right there. Yeah. And then. <laughs> Then after that, you know what I'm saying? It's just like you'll have to probably like see which one people like and so you can shoot that video. Or people probably like multiple ones, so you'll probably get multiple videos. Or even just putting it all together. Like sometimes somebody will try to put a whole bunch of old songs with songs they probably just did mm -hmm. and don't even sound the same or something. So for some most of the time I just do an all fresh song. Or if I do some old songs, I do our old songs. Because what I see a lot of people do or what they'll say, they'll um, do some singles, put it out, see the feedback on it. If people love certain ones, they'll put like a couple of those on the album because they know they'll want to buy the album or get the album because their the favorites songs. because their favorites are on there. Yeah, I do that sometimes. Like, try. I just put that on their mixtape. Oh, yeah? That was the first song since everybody liked it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know. Other than that, they was our new songs. Yeah, yeah. So do you do you 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 plan to work anymore with uh, Kenny B? Yeah, I mean Kenny B always working. Okay, so we got songs. We got a lot of songs too. That's coming. Yeah, I mean we don't even be talking about like when we gonna drop. Yeah, just it's just like we'll probably be like, hey, we need to, he just hit me up and say hey, we need to drop this, or I hit him up and say hey, we need to drop this, we need to shoot this one so we can drop it. Like, yeah, you know? and so how do y'all pick whose song it is? I mean. It don't matter. It don't matter, do it. it I didn't matter. think so. I thought about that. I'm like, it they don't, don't care. It don't matter. Like, you know what I'm saying? I guess whoever go first. <laughs> <laughs> whoever go first. Whoever go first. That's a good friend. That's a good relationship. It's your song, man. So do you have enough music to do a whole project like for Wardy? Like with you and him? Uh, like a nine or sure. ten song project? Probably so. That may be something. With, so. with a couple in you know what I mean? That would be dope. Cause you got to find some kind of way to put it out to where people can can see what he was or where he was what at he with did. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's gonna be that. But it'd probably be hard for you though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he just got a video. I mean, he got a video that's supposed to drop. We're gonna we're gonna drop that one for him. Yeah, we just gonna see what else see what else we got. See what else we got for him, I guess. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, and, and I'm a, and you know, anytime you're around, you know, you can come over here and. uh Talk about it. We gonna be doing pressing it this way or pushing it that way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My platform is open for that, man. Be honest with you. Um, he showed a lot of love to this platform, and uh, he we were new on the block. You know what I'm saying? And he, mm -hmm. he was like, I got you know he he done that just like you here, and we love you, man. We thank you for coming through. Uh, so sure. Let me ask you the name across your forehead. Is that your baby's name? No, that's my mama. Your mama's name? That's dope. That's mama cool. mean a lot, right? For sure. You playing no games by mama? For sure. <laughs> Already, man. So, top three artists of all time, dead or alive? Top three. Three. Number yeah, one. Dead or alive, number one. Any genre? Nah, I have to say Soldier Boy. I need that him. nigga loves Soldier. <laughs> have you ever met him? Hey, like you, nah, but like you say, though, like his hustler. That nigga hustler, dog. He just smart. That nigga real He's hustler. smart to me. No, nah, that nigga smart. I like Kodak, too. 
Kodak number two? Yeah, I like Kodak. And okay. I say G Herbo. G Herbo. G Herbo. I've not that? heard of him. He hard. I never heard, heard of him. Where are he from? Chicago. Yeah. Really? I heard of him. I, I got him. Jerry. I got you. I don't think hard. You say you love Soulja Boy because he's an all round artist. Do you? No, you're a hustler. And he's he a everything. hustler. He does, it, he does everything. Um, are you striving to do everything nah. in your craft or are you just, do you just want to just rap? I just, I'll probably see what I can do. Like, with the singing songs, like how me and Kenny did, like, that was, that was, that was, that was, that was new stuff to me. Yeah. And you liked it. I mean, it was cool. So you open to venture, but because even with learning certain things, you have to go and research. You have to go and figure it out. You have to go and ask a lot of and questions. Then I, I think on that video, we, I think we don't even have that many views. Then I got deleted, so we had to repost it. But that's one of your favorites. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. That, that one hard. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So do you um um if you could go back and talk to your younger self. Although he's so young already. It don't matter. I'm talking about 15. <laughs> 15, 16? Yeah, yeah. I was, ho I was What would you say? I think I was hoping at 15. So what would you say? I'm what would you say to your younger self? Stay away from rap. What? <laughs> nah. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Nah. I don't know. I don't know. Because really, I'm, I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm, yeah. I don't really have no regrets. You know what I'm saying? I, everything I did. So you would tell him just keep on rolling, boy. You for the you for the hit. You for the be rapping and everything. Yeah, you would tell him everything. No, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what I tell my younger self. For real. For real. What, when when Marty was on, he would say "Jug Jug." What is that? <laughs> jug Jug. It's just that is that his slogan or is that something y'all say? I mean, that's something we all say. Okay. But he, you know what I'm saying? He used it more. He used to use it more. What does it mean? I mean, just get to it, right? Get to it. Okay. Just, I, I figured that would be some money. That's what. I, yeah. You know, he said something on here that was so dope. He was like, "If I ain't living it, I ain't for to be at no studio. If I ain't doing good, I'm not gonna be at the studio. Yeah, I remember I'm what gonna be sure. in the, Yeah. He's like, for I'm sure. gonna be out there getting then to we it. Got, but then we got different. Like how we think we'll probably be like, we're not getting to it, but we getting to it. But we probably just want to be better than what we doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying? We just. It's not that we don't we don't want to be around each other. It's just probably like I'm doing something right now. Yeah, 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 you know what yeah. I'm saying? But one thing, I, one thing, man, I can tell you why it's in flip, man. Just, man, you got you you got you got you know things that you got to take care of. So you a little bit more responsible, man. Yeah. Um, all I can say is that when you talk to the guys around you, I know right now it's a place where they don't even want to listen to nothing. But you got to be the one to keep things going. Yeah. <laughs> like damn but nah, it's the I'm truth like, man i'm like you gotta man. keep things all good. It, it life is hey, you seem like you don't even want a response i know it like you know what no but it gotta be somebody gotta step up what it was a leader man man tell me how you feel you feel like y'all just leave me out of this is that how you feel nah i just rather not talk about it okay that's no. cool. No, and I get it, but because it's so early, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But I just, you know, like I said, for me, that's the only thing I say is I wish I could have said something. What did I not say? But I know God is the one that got the ultimate plan, so I don't I don't trip. I know he had, like me and you talking here now, I know already I prayed before you got here. I know already I, I said, man, give me something to say to this young brother because I've been through so much, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I made it through, you know what I'm saying? And for me to be here, I'm kind of like I, I'm in a winning position because I made it this far. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you, 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 from where I am, you got to come what you've lived already and did. And it's the old man talk, but and live longer than what you've lived already. You, you see what I'm saying? So I feel like I won because I've already lived this long. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I know already there's something special in you, and it's gonna it's gonna be you got way more chance than me now. <laughs> you, you got because I ain't telling what you could do, accomplish in the time you got. Does that make sense? Yeah. So sure. I, I I'm gonna be watching you, man. I'm gonna sure. be watching to see uh, how you how you take it to the next level. Cause at the end of the day, you the you hey man, you the future, bro. For sure. And um, like I said, man. However Where do you, you see yourself in the next two years in music? Uh. I don't know, probably taking it more serious. It's like, I don't know, I be focused on a lot of other stuff. Yeah. Cause do you have a goal? I mean, 
And music, I just, I learned to just chill. I learned to just let things be when I'm doing this music stuff. Just do what I do. Let's go with the and flow. I, yeah, and I get results from since I've been doing this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't stress over it. Yeah, it's gonna come if you if you being consistent and and you doing what you got to do. It's gonna come. So if a younger person, and I got other responsibilities outside yeah, of rap, the kids so. and stuff. Just everything, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Just, a, just a lot of stuff, just me handling. I take care of, I take care of a lot of people, you know? Yeah. And you so young. Just, just me taking care of everybody, you know what I'm Does saying? it feel like a weight on your shoulder to take care of a lot of people? I mean, not really. Okay. That's I mean, good. Not really. That's Cause, good. Because it's only people that, you know, they looked out for me. So. That's good. That's you good. You know what I'm saying? It, it's nothing. Let's show that you, because... Uh, Being a man, that it shows that you take on that responsibility, take it on proudly. Yeah, it's nothing. Are you an only child? Nah. It's How many five brothers? Of, five of y'all. It's five of us. You the youngest? Are you the youngest? No, I'm the second oldest. Second oldest? Yeah, I got a, I got a big sister. Oh, but you the first boy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So it falls yeah. on your shoulder with a lot of stuff. And so I just do what I do. Yeah. Okay, that's good. It's just and one thing I can say, do you guys, because um, with with what happened. The one thing I can say is the friction, the, the fight. And I talk, y'all boys, boys going to be boys. You know what I'm saying? They going to argue, get into it, whatever, man. Like I said, if I can't say nothing else, I can say you got to be a leader. I'm going to say that. I don't care. <laughs> you you got to be a leader. You got to be responsible, man. And you like, whatever, but I'm telling you, somebody got to step up and do that. Because at the end of the day, it's a lot of people counting on you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm you just not. said that. I'm the one. <laughs> He's like, I'm the one. Say, man, we love you, bro. I'm the one. We love you, and we we definitely appreciate you for coming on our yeah, show. Man. I appreciate. How that. can people get a hold to you, man? Like people like who? <laughs> <laughs> no, if they want to do some music or feature or I something like that, that, man. Yeah, uh, uh, Instagram. Me, yeah, they can just hit me up on Instagram. That's What's your on, handle? That's What's your handle on Instagram? Why is it flip? Okay. You know what I'm saying? If you want to do some music, you can just hit me up on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm going to you my budget. I'm okay. Gonna, I don't want to hear your budget. I'm going to text you. <laughs> I'm going to you my budget. And then you're going to get at them. Yeah. So, but if if um, a young artist come to you, or a striving artist, somebody who wants to, because I know that a lot of people probably in your DM, you'd be like, you know, bro, how did you get here? You know, I want to be, you know, like you. I want to connect and stuff like that. Um, how would you advise him? Like, how many times a week does he need to be in studio? How many how how many songs he needs to be writing a day? If he, well, I never wrote, so if he, you punch him, yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you writing, then that's cool. You just gotta write a lot. I mean, you know what I'm saying. But you'll learn you'll learn how to. You don't have to write. Yeah. Cause you know what I'm saying. You go. You can think of. It's just just think faster. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. But. That's a gift. I don't know, but when you if you just starting, then you need to be in, you need to be recording at least at least two three songs a day. A day. Yeah. So you need to be in the studio every day. Yeah, if you want if you want if you want to make a name for yourself or you want people to listen to you, you need to perfect the craft. Not even nobody need to hear all your songs. You know what I'm saying? It's just you can find out how to use. You can find out how to say different stuff or find out how to put it in a different way, a different meaning. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just mm -hmm. perfect, perfect what you got to say. Wow. And what's the one thing that someone had has told you over the past that has stuck with you over the years? You know, concerning music that you're like, you know what? That's a that's a gem. Like, I'm going to take that and really use that. Uh, nobody really told me. Probably be more consistent. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. Be consistent and you know. When I really, when I want to take it serious, I'll be, I'll probably be in the studio more or recording myself. Because I got it, I got it at home too, so. Wow. And I hear you say a lot that you record yourself, because I know a lot of people, they go to the studio and get like an engineer or somebody to record them. Yeah, I like my engineer recording me too, though. I got it, we got an engineer called, his name is 2-4. Okay. Yeah, so I like, I like when he records us too. And he make beats, so it's. That's way, dope. It's way easier. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But man, we thank you for coming on the show, man. We love you, brother. YSN Flip been on Boss Talk 101, man. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, no care. Say, man, it's going down, man. Holla at your boy, man. It's a unique hustle. And, and it's out. been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out.